Hello guys, welcome to the ostrich and zebra enclosure here at the Cleveland Zoo. We're back checking out some animals we don't normally get to see. You guys should come join us, won't you? Yeah, we normally don't uh, come to this little overlook area and we normally don't get to see the ostriches and zebras. Uh, if we do, it's usually from the other side uh, behind the uh, seating area for the food. We never come over here. This is a fun little place. Uh, and if you go one more stop down, we could see the tall things. What are the, what? Oh, the giraffes. You want to go see the giraffes? Okay. I don't know why we always skip this little trail at the beginning of the zoo. Uh, we're always like on the main trail over there. Going to look at the uh, rhinoceroses and stuff. Or... Always miss this one. There are some great views here of the zebras and things like that. You need to start checking this view out more. There's the Bottenbach. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Couldn't even tell you. To be honest, I forgot these things were even back here because we never walked this trail. They're kind of cool looking though. They almost look like deer. The cross between a deer and a zebra maybe? I don't know what exactly they are. I'll have to look them up one, some point in time. Also this little outlook is really cool looking. I like it. You can sit up here and just watch things. Uh, there's a family up there eating a snack. That's a good idea. I never even thought of that because again I forgot this was even back here. Because we just don't take this trail at all ever. Lincoln! What do you see? What do you see? Giraffe? Those giraffes, yeah, good job. Well, we always look them from up there. It's cool to see them from down here. Yeah, ooh, ooh, this camera. Sorry about the noise. It is not doing well at all. Yeah, the giraffe is eating. No. Boy, is he tall. Oh my. Yeah, it's one of mama's favorite animals. Yeah. Lincoln, what are you doing? What are you doing in the water? You're getting your new shoes all messy. Hey, let me see your new shoes. Let me see your shoes. Let me see them. What are they? Are they Lego shoes. Yeah. Do you see the dada? Yes. Yes, the dada rhino. He's sleeping. Mm-hmm, or at least trying to. Sunbathing more than anything in the mud. Bet you he's glad it rained this morning. There's mama and the baby. baby. Yeah. Oh, this camera. I finally got the camera to work again after uh, it took a trip through the air at the fair. But it is not doing good at all. So sorry about the noises. I apologize last time. This is the last time I apologize. They're so cool looking. The baby's so small. Compared to the... Yeah, and a baby. Okay, we're on another path less traveled. We'll be going that way soon. Uh, we came from this way, there's the main trail. Over here is the rhino enclosure and the rhino building. A lot of people don't come back here. And I don't know why, because you get some awesome shots of the rhinos uh, that may be in the building sometimes or right next to trying to get into the building. Here comes the mama. And like I said, you get pretty close uh, over here on this little outlook. Where's the baby? There she is! There's the baby. How little she is. Two months old. Okay, moving on. Uh, if we could get Lincoln to walk this direction. Uh, he really doesn't want to go leave the rhinos. There he comes. Back on the path, less wandered. Uh, I just love the scenery back here. And again, no one really knows about it. These plant gardens and everything, no one comes back here. Uh, you can rent these pavilions, things like that. The scenery is beautiful back here. Oh, no one comes back here. Plus, uh, this building right here, you can actually go inside and play in. There's all kinds of stuff for kids to do. And you can see uh, some of the medical stuff when medical stuff is going on. We're going to head in there next. If I could get, if I, Lincoln, uh, if I got to go get him first. Also like this cactus garden. That's super cool. Uh, but yeah, we're going into the Center for Zoological Medicine. 
no one comes back here at all. And there's all kind of resting areas. Like, why wouldn't you come back here and get some air conditioning? Or if it's raining, like a rainy day like today, come in here and uh, just chill. So, what you could do in here is all kind of interactive stuff and learn how to take care of the animals. I'll do a quick walkthrough. Uh, doesn't look like there's any any kind of medical stuff going on today, but you could actually watch, you know, how they check the animals and stuff on days. They're doing that. Get some pictures of Lincoln in there in a minute. But yeah, this is awesome. Like all kinds of stuff for kids to do and learn and play with and picture opportunities and look behind the scenes, which, you know, we are only seeing this little bit here. This is how big this building really is. There's a ton of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, quarantine areas, isolation areas, uh, medical areas. Yeah, this is super, super cool. Anything going on in this one? Nope, not today. It's Sunday, so I doubted anything was gonna be going on. Okay, I'm gonna go back and get some pictures with Lincoln with some of this cool stuff. What are you doing, Lincoln? We're gonna feed the gorilla. Yeah, you need five pounds of lettuce. That's a lot. One. Banana. Banana. No, no, no banana. <laughs> we need more lettuce. Wait, gorilla, gorillas don't eat bananas? He's making his own concoction. We need dandelions. There are dandelions in here? No, these are all vegetables. They must be somewhere else. But yeah, so what you do is you pick an animal and you build us food. Like some shrimp, some lobsters, and crabs. You need the hay. You need two pounds of Hey! What are you looking at? A lot. The stethoscopes. Yeah. All these drawers have stuff in them. That's cool get kids excited about being a veterinary person. Veterinarian, that's what they're called. A veterinary person. I like this stuff. I guess it might be slightly out of date because uh, they're still showing like record books and computer monitors that are huge. What? You want, you want to hit the button? Okay, hold on a second. What is that? Is that an x-ray? Yeah, that's an x-ray. You see inside all the bones. Shaved ice sitting next to the giraffes. I mean, can't go wrong with that, can you? I don't think so. Lincoln, what are you doing? Yeah. You're feeding the giraffes. Here. One more, Lincoln. One more. Yay. Time for a movie. We're gonna go see Congo 4D, then afterwards we're gonna go see Scooby 4D. That was a good movie. We just seen Congo 4D. I think next we're gonna go see Scooby. But I really enjoyed that. Uh, Lincoln liked it for the most part. He didn't want to wear his 3D glasses very much, but he liked the uh, 4D effects. Well, after a couple 4D experiences, back at checking out the animals. This guy here. It's telling them all how it is. Jeez. And of course the swans. Okay, I think we're headed towards the carousel. Go on the carousel, because Lincoln loves the carousel. And then we're gonna go from there. Who knows what we're gonna do next. So the reason we came here is because it was supposed to rain all day. So we wanted to go to the rainforest to stay out of the rain. But it's been a beautiful day actually. So yeah, we don't know what we're gonna do. Lincoln. Are you on a baby gorilla? And Mama's on an adult gorilla. Yeah! Whee! Like I can't, I don't know who to watch. I'm going up and down, and he's going up and down, and she's going up and down separately. <laughs> Yay! Okay, time for another path less traveled. Oh, there's the main path down there. I don't even know if this leads to anywhere. I just never go on it. And we're gonna find out where it goes. I don't think anywhere. Maybe the lions? Or 
tigers? Lions. 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 I always get those confused. I'm a horrible tour guide, aren't I? A little bit. And our kid is just running the path. Okay, well that was kind of anticlimactic, although you did get to check out some more plants and stuff that you normally wouldn't see up close if you're on the main path. But yeah, the main path is right there. I'm wondering if there used to be something like more over here, which is why this path was here to begin with. Who knows? I don't know the history of the zoo that mall. Bob, kitty warm, kitty little ball of fur. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. I want one. It looks so fluffy and happy. Quick lunch of some pizza. We're going to all split this because we're going out for dinner afterwards. Uh, but we came to watch the zebras that were like right here like two seconds ago. Then since we sat down, they're like, nope, we're out of here, and took off. So hopefully the zebras come back, or maybe the ostriches. Uh, you really get some good views from back here. Uh, we're behind the like dining room thing. Uh, so you normally get good views, but not today. We're on a choo-choo train, Lincoln. We're on a choo-choo train. Yeah. This might be wrapping up our day here uh, because the little boy is being cranky. We'll see what we see here, and then we'll see where we go from here. It's a kangaroos! They're up and active today because it's uh, cooler out. There's some more. Bumpity bump bump. Headed back in, but first, a funny looking birdie and more kangaroos. That's a fun train ride, it's a super short, super short. One last little path less traveled right now, here by the koalas who is inside. Uh, also, love the statue. There are a couple animals back here that, like, a lot of people don't know about. And we don't ever stop and look at them. Uh, I don't know if they're actually still in here or if they moved them or who knows. We'll see. Oh, that and I gotta go get my kid again. <sighs> Puts us back here by the lake, which has some awesome views, especially of the uh... Make it, come here, look. lanterns. That's what they're called. Man, I cannot think today. My brain is not working. Yeah, they got the condors back here and stuff. And he's posing for us. He's posing back there. It's an awesome bird. A lot of people don't even know he's back here because they don't come back here unless they're here for the festivals. Well, that is it from the zoo. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, a lot of good animal interactions, a lot of good uh, poses for an animal, got tons of good pictures. Uh, it was cool, it wasn't super hot, it wasn't super busy. Even though it was grandparents day, I thought it was going to be packed, it wasn't. Uh, good time and all. Uh, now, we're going to go somewhere for dinner we haven't been to in forever, because there's none around us, and since we're up here in Cleveland, we're going to stop there. We're going to Penn Station and grab ourselves some sandwiches. I figured since we're this close to it, uh, still common is right around the corner. I'd stop and check out the uh, Christmas Story house. We'll go tour it one day, uh, actually, for a video. Uh, I've never been to this house before. I've never been here before, even though I've been this close to it many, 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 many times. I used to work like half mile away from here. Never been to this house. I want to go do it one day. But yeah, it's kind of cool. Cool seeing it. Okay, uh, off to Penn Station to get some subs. I mean, they really made a thing out of this. They have the actual Christmas Story house, the one in the movie, but then they also have like a uh, gift shop, uh, some old trucks and stuff. Uh, this is a museum uh, with stuff from the movie. Uh, then you got the bump house, and I forget what that is. I think that may have been a house that was used in the film too. Uh, I do know that you could stay here. Adam Wu has stayed here before. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to do that, but uh, you can do that. I don't know if you can stay here too or not. I'm not sure what that house is exactly. Anyways, yeah, okay. I know I said we're going to get food. Now we're going to get food. Penn Station subs. If you didn't know it was here, you'd totally miss it. And they have some of the best subs I've ever eaten. This place is great. We're at uh, 
I forget what this is called, Steel Yard Commons or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's right by the steel mill. Uh, very cool around here. Lots of shopping around here. It's like a little shopping center. But best subs I've had in, come from here. Mm, does that look delicious? That is a regular Philly sub. Uh, they're known for their Philly subs. Uh, that is a small Philly sub? I don't yes. know what they call it. Small. Small. Some fries. Uh, absolutely delicious. Stop. You've been miserable all day, haven't you? Yes, you have. Coolest looking Walmart ever. That's uh, Steel Commons. Uh, I like it because uh, it had to be built to the theme. Because everything around here is built to the, kind of the same theme, the steel framing and stuff. Super cool. We'll run in here, do some little vacation shopping, then head for home. Okay, that's a wrap. And it was such a great day at the zoo. Like I said earlier, awesome animal encounters. Uh, great views, great pictures, great everything. Just a great time at the zoo. Uh, quick stop at the uh, Christmas Story House. Quick thing, stop to grab something to eat. Uh, just a great day. Glad we went. Glad we recorded it. Okay, uh, that's a wrap. That's it. We will talk to you next time. Hope you have a good day. And remember, smile. It confuses people. Bye, guys.